this is the energy vibration reading for all sun, moon, rising, and Aquarius, and this is the month of May 2017. And the month of May carries the energy vibration from the energy of uh, um, the devil as the overall energies. Okay, so as a general energies, it's the energy of the devil. So what is going to happen in this month is that a whole lot of changes is going to happen and a whole lot of transformation is going to happen, but yet still for the best, okay? And what is happening is that the only week that is going to be of a stability in a week for you, Aquarius, it's going to be the week of um, the Four of Swords. And why is this? Because of um, the energy vibration in this month. This month, we begin with the zodiac energy of the, uh, the sign of Taurus, and we end with the zodiac energy of the Gemini. So, so this is going to be actually a wonderful month. I must say I love May. Um, May is just a fantastic month for myself. I, it's just one of those special months. If I would have chosen to born in another month, it would be May. Don't know why. Okay, um, so your sister sign, the end of May, is the energy vibration of the, um, the Gemini sign. So what's going to happen in the end of May, the second um, second two weeks of May, what is going to happen is that you're going to see so many transformation in your life that is going to come in your life, which is so wonderful. Because um, from the second of May, you're going to see a lot of wonderful energies. In the sense of love, love is going to be beautiful for you guys in this one because the love with the energy vibration of the world is going to be fantastic. In this month of May, for you um, Aquarians, the energy of the sun is going to be your focus. So the energy of the sun, because there's um, just one energy vibration in the second week for in the fourth week for you guys, the energy of the sun is going to watch over you for the whole month of May. So be aware of this. Be understanding of what is happening because a lot of changes are coming, but yet still, it is so it's as if it's a cosmic shower where the sun energy is cleansing certain things and certain aspects of you that needs to be cleansed. So be aware of this and open up to the energies, okay? Um, a lot of people said, don't wear your glasses, but okay. Um, okay, focusing on the first week. Um, in this month, we have the energy vibration of water strength. So we have emotion, which is in the first week. Um, the general energy is the lovers, and it is working in the world with you. So a lot of people will be meeting. They're soulmate, they're twin flames. Wonderful energies are coming in for you guys, which is going to be so extremely powerful. So be aware of these energies because the world with a lovers card. You can expect if you're looking for your twin flame or soulmate, it's going to happen in the first week. So a lot of connection with love is just going to be roaming over in the first week, and it's going to happen for you guys. And you can just be open up to um, situations in your life because it's just going to happen for you guys. Okay. So love the first week for you because whenever the world with the energy of the love comes up, it is helping you. Um, with your relationship, your partnership, your love affair, relationship, your husband, um, your partner, whether you're married or not married. And I'm loving this because whenever the world comes on that day, the cosmic universe is going to come in and help you with your love partner. In the second week, we have the energy of strength. And the energy of strength is bringing you um, um, inner strength to deal with your enemies or people who are working at a lower vibration against you. So be aware of this because in the second week we do not have this happening to you. So strength is here going to support you with the energy of the moon because this moon breaks out and let you see um, negative um, uh, um, people who are so negative against you and who are working against you and it's as if everybody begins to show their colors in this week and you're going to see wonderful, beautiful experience but understand that these changes, the strength, this fire energy is going to come in and overpower um, your enemies. So um, you're going to stand up and overpower them within 
a very wonderful, you know, a way of diplomacy. But you're going to hold the power then, which is extremely good. I'm loving this for you guys. I'm really, really loving this for you guys. So, as we move forward to the third week, we have the energy of the Empress. And this is a very important month. Um, the energy of the Empress is here with the Emperor. But in the third week, you have the energy of the Empress of with the Two of Cups. So the third week is going to have an emotional situation that is going to happen. This can happen, um, like it's going to affect some people with your family, okay? So it's as if your sister or your brother, something has transpired. There's a healing coming in. But this um, situation, it can um, happen for the masculine or feminine um, counterpart. So you could be connected with your brother or sister or something like that. But it has been a situation that has been out of the hand. And now there's healing coming in. And this is a wonderful healing. And with this healing, it's as if um, like someone as if um, I'm getting it. This, this is strange, but this is what I'm getting. This is it. Okay. Um, you haven't been speaking to a sibling or your parents or something like that. And all of a sudden, you have been having a really hard time. And then they call you up and then you just break down and you start to tell them. And then they um, offer to help you. And they actually come and get to where you are, help you to get rid of certain stuff and say, move in and stay with me. I am getting something like that. And it's so wonderful because it was something where a relationship went really solid and all of a sudden, but it has to do with the family or best friends or something, but it's more of a family. So whatever is happening in this week and somebody reach out to you that you have had difficulty with or something like that, just accept it and just um, accept their help because the universe has sent them. And the energy of the Empress is healing a situation with um, um, two people of opposite sex, and it can be of the same sex, uh, that has, um, there was a situation that was in array with you, and now um, the universe comes in, and it's going to help you to heal the situation. And by healing the situation, you are going to be, the relationship is going to be extremely, extremely beautiful, okay? As we go further, and we look at the fort, and last week we had the energy vibration of um, the emperor. And the emperor is a fire energy, it is a stable and the energy, and it is bringing in the four of swords. And this is a wonderful week for you, most of you, because with the emperor and the four of swords, that means you have to see achievement, um, balance, and the four of swords. Anything that has to do with four, it is balancing situations. So some people will have achievements, and some people will be having stability in their life, finally. It's as if everything has fallen in place, and you are feeling comfortable with yourself, but yet still, um, whatsoever that was a ray in your life is now being um, positive, and now being focused in a wonderful, wonderful way. And this is going to help you to move yourself to somewhere and something that is much more beautiful in your life. And I'm loving this because this is a wonderful time for a lot of people, and this is going to help you to move out and survive whatever that was going on, because it's going to bring you on balance. So after all of what has been going on since January, and um, January to, uh, until January to, until April, you are going to see that this is becoming so wonderful, and new experiences are coming in your life. So it doesn't matter if you're um, masculine or feminine, if you're a man or a woman, a boy or a girl, um, new and wonderful experiences are going to come in your life. So a lot of people who are doing exams are going to pass your exams. And this is going to bring you to something wonderful and beautiful in your life. I love these two energy vibrations for you guys in the last four weeks. And this is going to be extremely, extremely wonderful. As we move on, um, and I'm looking at your overall energy in this week. There is a lot of emotions. There is so much emotion. There is a, a one, two earth energies, two earth balances. But your, your, your whole month of May is more of an emotional month. 
knowing that you still have the sun that is watching over you and is protecting you this month, but it's more of emotional because the world is here along with you. Some of you will be having success, but some of you, your the negative aspect of people around you is going to start showing up themselves, okay? And in the second and last week, you have the energy of the two of cups, but yet in the fourth week, you have the energy of balance. And the energy of balance is just so wonderful, and this is a good energy because you've gone through um, the first uh, first half of the month, it has been a long experience with relationship with you guys. And this is a time when these relationships and these stuff has been going on in your life, and you really, really need to change this kind of um, vibration. Um, the first week is going to be a very good week for love. The third week, the Two of Cups comes up with the, the Empress, and as I told you what I'm feeling and what I'm getting for a lot of people out there, be aware because the Empress is going to heal a certain situation, a family situation. This is going to be a blood family, an earth family situation, not a cosmic family, okay? It has to be healed. Um, with the energy of the devil, the, the, the overall and general energies, and this is so wonderful for you guys. And as you realize, I change up my readings. I never do the same sort of a reading because there's so many different energies that are coming up. The, the general energy is, is the energy of the devil. Okay, general energy, energy of the devil. Your focus and your energy that you're going to work with is the sun. So whatever is happening, the energy of the sun is going to heal the situation what the devil is bringing in. And this is something that you need to focus on and be aware of because it's very important that these situations is being handled. Okay, this. Is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely wonderful. I have changed the units, as I said. I'm going to look at what aspect and what um, chakras you should be working with in these months and in the first week. Um, we have completion, so this is wonderful. This is the orange chakra, so in the first week you have completion. So this is going to be excellent because. Whatsoever that is happening in your life, um, ooh, with the energy of, the, of complete, the complete, completion, with the energy of completion, it's going to bring wonderful, vitalized energies in your life, and this is going to be wonderful. Yes, darlings. <laughs> so completion we have in the first week, and it is the the orange energy. So. Again, who we work with with the orange energy, we work with Archangel Metatron. So we have the energy of the lovers and the energy of the hurt. So it's a wonderful time to go and find your soulmate and your twin seal. Um, call upon the angels and the guides and the angels because they're going to come in and help you and it's going to be a bring a wonderful completion to your relationship I don't see the ending of anyone's relationship in this month in the first week in the first week I see more of a, a transformation and a growing so you have completion and it's the orange energy you can work with Archangel Metatron. As we look at the the second week, I'm asking the angels, the masters, to show me the energy for the second week for you guys. And you have perception. Perception is the number is the green energy. So we will be working in the second week with our art chakras because we need to heal our art chakras and remember that the green energy is what we perceive, and this is how we're going to work on the um, energy vibration of the heart chakra okay so remember we need to work on the energy vibration of our art chakra and that is so 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 um, powerful with the energy of the art chakra coming in because you have the energy of strength but yet still you have the energy of seeing your enemies and people who have been working against you a lot of stuff is going to come out and it's as if um, the universe is bringing up something to let you see people that are not really vibrating on your energy vibration but yet still they're working against you okay so this is good so um, now I understand why the green energy comes up in the second week because it is saying to you it is saying to you um, 
um, be aware of what is going on around you okay as we ask the angels and guides to show us what chakra colors we should be working on in the third week we have the blue chakra color the blue is always you work with Archangel Michael and it says alcoholic alcoholic <laughs> and that could be me because I'm always working I'm always being busy it's, it's always wonderful so Archangel Michael is going to help you to work with your um, throat chakra in this week and it's going to be wonderful because whenever he's here and I can understand why he's coming up to work with your throat chakra because the energy of the Empress is here and she's asking you to speak and talk about the situation that needs to be healed with someone opposite so this is extremely wonderful and this is good this is a wonderful time this is beautiful this is blessings coming in these are wonderful extremely good blessings that are coming in and we need to understand each other and with the the blue is always working with the throat so you are going to mend a situation by working with the throat chakras and this is just going to be extremely wonderful as we move forward we are going to look at, and this is this is so perfect um, everything is just falling in places and that's why I write a channel with my angels and guide because they always show and bring forward um, the energies that is supposed to come through and with the energy of work alcohol but yet still you are healing a situation with your siblings I keep on getting this it's it's coming up it's coming up it's so wonderful okay as we look at the fourth week what does the angels masters and guides have for you what assigned people in the fourth week wow okay all right so we need it's 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 a time of healing so we need to heal ourselves okay but in this sense we you know we really need to communicate with other people we really need to take the time we really need to um, connect with our um, with the time and the space that we're working in then we can connect with our, our um, inner thoughts with our guides and angels because the masters are here so the masters are like the ascendance masters and the godinas and the angels will be working in the fourth week with a lot of people because here they are and with this chakra card it is working on the higher element the spirit world the crown chakra and this is extremely good so a lot of um, masters are coming in um, to work on the people who are ready to cooperate their energies so you can always call upon your goddess the goddesses the angels um, the masters the ascendant masters and the goddesses to work with you okay and they will come in and work with you because the energy of um, the energy of um, of, of, of when the ascendance masters and the guiding angels and the spirit guides are coming in they always come in in beautiful forms and with a week of resting you know with the um, the, um with the emperor it is saying to you to go within and connect and this color is the crown chakra so then you will be connecting with your spirit guides and angel on the spirit guides the unseen world okay so sometimes if your parents or have crossed over or if your friends have crossed over who you decide to work with when they cross over then you are going to see this really happening for you guys okay I'm using another 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 energy and I um um, use another energy and um, I'm gonna see what we have for the fourth week so I'm asking the angels and the guide to show me the energies for the Aquarians uh, oh wow yeah yes 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 yeah oh okay 
Oh, blessings, blessings, blessings. There's a lot of luck coming in. And in the first in the first week, as I've said about the love, if you're really, really looking for a soulmate relationship or a twin flame relationship, the energy vibration in the first week, because it's governed or the energy of love, is going to be there for you. And the universe is going to send you the energy vibration of um, luck and happiness and beauty coming in your life so this is going to be excellent because you are going to have um, the the energies of uh, um, you know connecting with certain aspect and uh, um, it's, 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 it's going to be it's going to be good in the sense that with the energy of the lovers and the nine because it's as if the universe is going to bless you with something and um, some people can experience um, um, going to a funeral so um, the, 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 the sense and the energy of going to a funeral is going to be between the first week and the second week this is what yeah the, between the first week and the second week the energy vibration of a funeral a situation an unpleasant gathering with a dead with 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 a coffin and that is always a funeral so this is what I'm getting so maybe the person you the found the person die in the first week and they're going to bury in the second week so be aware of what is going on around you because the energy of uh, that is coming out but positive positive outcomes positive happiness are going to happen sudden luck is going to happen for some people chances calculated risk and this sort of a thing but the, the power of um, um positive energies are going to come out for you Aquarians in this month of May and this is because your sister your brother or sister the Gemini's are having in the second two weeks that's when your luck is going to begin to start flowing okay so remember for some people um, there is going to be a funeral an unpleasant um, gathering um, in the first and the first for week for some people second week for some people okay as we move on as we move on and we're looking at certain aspect um, the aspect of uh, uh, endings of relationship ending of contracts starting over completion so there is going between um, the the second week and the third week there is going to be an ending of a contract and with endings of a relationship or contract some people are going to have endings of relationship some people are going to have ending of contract some people are going to have new start at starting over so as I've said before in the readings before there is going to be changes that it's going to happen some transformation in relationships that is going to happen but it's going to be good okay in the fourth week um, the endings and you know an Arab situation comes to an end because sometimes when we have endings uh, difficult relationship painful relationship some people are going to have some difficult relationship painful relationship and ending of certain relationship and it's going to be okay I mean endings are supposed to happen and uh, we need to understand when endings comes in it's just the time that the lessons that we came in to learn has been over and we need to do our transformation so again I want to say to each and every person out there it doesn't matter what is happening if changes are coming accept the changes it you know it is a time when all of these things I know <laughs> try to figure out what so um, all of these things are happening and um, we need to accept the changes that are happening and I want to say to each and every person out there it's going to be a wonderful wonderful month for you Aries the first week is love remember the second week is seeing people 
your enemies will be revealed to you that your third week is going to be a week where you're going to heal a situation with a family member the fourth week is going to be a week of achievement success and balance and rest and you're going to connect with your spirit guides and the end is going to come to a sort of an ending is going to come to a certain situation in your life and accept it and move on okay and I want to say to each and every person namaste and I speak to you next month